Shalom. This is Sister Ebony. Welcome to The Rock. And right now I am planting our basil sea starts into the soil. And there are a lot of them. Hopefully all of them uh, survive, if not most of them. But I'm planting them in, in our small, what used to be... Um, Jusum artichoke garden, our very first Jusum artichoke garden. As you can see, there's actually a cluster right there. And there is still actually a lot <laughs> of Jusum artichokes still growing. There's one right there. Still growing in this garden. We have not been able to um, get rid of them, which we, you know, or we've explained that you're really not going to. Just some artichokes are very invasive, and once you plant them, they kind of will take over, and it's hard to get rid of them um, because they can grow from anything, whether it's cut off skins, a piece of a root, a piece of a stem, um, a tiny seedling. Um, they can pretty much almost grow from anything, any part of the juice from artichoke that is left in the ground. So, anyways. I'm planting these here. Hopefully we get a lot of um, that they that they take well in the soil. So we have a lot of them planted here. I think I have a couple more trays that need to be planted also. But anyway, I just wanted to um, share a thought that I've had. Um, And hopefully I can articulate it well. <laughs> I, I told Sister T about sometimes what I think the difference in people who talk and people who are quiet. For myself, I tell her that it's sometimes it's hard for me to articulate what's in my mind to speak it out. For talking people, it's kind of like once it's, if it's in their mind, it, they're 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 able to speak it out like their our mouth is a speaker. So for me, it's hard for me to articulate sometimes my thoughts. Um, as a quiet person, I know for her or for talkers, I know that, you know, if they just have a thought, they're able to just say it right then, their thought. Um, but anyway, so one of the reasons or some reasons why I wanted to get covered um, once I knew what being covered was. Um, yeah, once I knew what what being covered was um, or even before then. In the world, I always wanted to get married and have a husband. I never was the type of person to want to want to be or have a desire to be uh, an independent woman. Um, I don't know. I guess I just kind of knew myself in that um, I wasn't the best decision maker. I didn't want to make the all decision. I didn't want to provide for myself, um, provide for myself, so to speak. Um you know have this great career or anything I didn't want to I knew my desires was to get married have a have a husband um be a mother um I did desire to be a stay-at-home mom um I loved everything about being a a you know a wife and a mother um homeschooling I wanted to um you know be a, uh not be a part of the system um I didn't know to what level though until I'm you know I met my master and we got married but I am very grateful for him and for um you know, being chosen to be his wife and being, having him as my covering. Um, so, and then in that, just, you know, doing it, be, being married um, to my master and actually living this life 
you come to under get more understanding once you start doing it and living it. Um, just like my master talks about coming out and um, homesteading. Once you come out, you start to understand more of what the Bible um, talks about ag- agriculturally and from um, what I'm gathering and my thoughts on that is women, y'all did not intend for women to, you know, be this independent woman um, to do their own thing. They intended for them to <clears throat> have a covering, have a husband to be a part of a body, which, you know, would be their husband. Um and I'm I'm grateful for that. I see the importance of it, um, because I, from my life, just in the world, I did not make the the best decisions. Um, and then once you 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 end up making bad decisions, you have to pay those consequences. And then you you know if you make good decisions, you make uh, have good consequences. But for the bad ones, I've made very bad decisions, um, and then I have to pay for those. For, you know, having um, sex out of wedlock um, or, you know, for those women who have children or um, having careers and all these things. You learn how to be independent. You learn how to, um, in a way, not be submissive um, for those women who are. Um, say have a job role of of you know leading or and or have authority over different people or even men. Um, they learn how to not submit or you know different things like that, and um. So with that. Y'all intended for us, you know, to have like have a covering to to cover us, to protect us from basically ourselves. (laughs) My master protects me from myself in correcting me, um, and correcting us, his wise, um, and um providing for us, you know, making hard decisions that I don't have to make about the family about our lives, you know, how we're going to protect ourselves, how we're going to feed ourselves, how we're going to live, um, you know, all these things. And even biblically, um, my master is a covering for me and that I don't, I go to him with my questions on what the Bible says. And, you know, he gives me the answer if he doesn't, whether it's, he already knows it or he, you know, searches it out. But he um, washes me with the word and um, just as Yahshua washes him with the word and Yahshua is uh, my master's covering. <clears throat> He's all of our, you know, coverings in that he shed his blood for us and he covers our sin. But um, as far as marriage, you know, the mystery of marriage um yeshua covers by my masters is my master's covering um and then yeshua's blood his blood was shed and covers all of our sins so that we yash uh, yah only sees us he doesn't see see the sin if we've repented he doesn't see the sin that we've we've done if we stay away from sin if we don't sin anymore um but anyway so my master um is my covering he washes me with the word he helps me get my thinking the way it's supposed to be lined up with the bible so i am very grateful for that that i I do not have to do that that um i have a covering my master is my covering and he um he does that. He gets me lined up with what the word says. Um, so I don't know. That was just a thought. And in that, 
I'm I'm grateful for my master. Um, I hope that and admonish women to get their covering. Get covered. See what body, find what body you belong to and and get covered. Um Um, that's just a thought. <laughs> so I'm open to, um, you know, in the comment section, anyone have a more thought on it or if you want to discuss it or, you know, if you agree, if anyone sees the same thing or just admonishing women too, who are single, who don't have a covering or even women who are covered to get more of appreciation of their covering. Um, I appreciate my covering and more and more um, as my master's getting understanding and um, I'm getting understanding that the more questions that I ask and, and just how things are lining up, just everyday things in our life help me to understand um, the Bible. And I'm very grateful for it. I'm very grateful for my master, follow, you know, following the, the vision that my ma that, uh Yah has given him. And I want to continue to help push his vision. Um, so I hope you have a blessed and hope you had a productive day. And shalom.